Hello friends, welcome to Beyond 20's YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Neelam Patel, a solution consultant with Beyond 20. In today's video, we will talk about how to create a custom role. So why do we create a custom role? So let's say uh, we create a role to control access to features and capabilities in applications and modules. So let's say the uh, we do have uh, audit and compliance. So we do create only read only role for uh, the audit purposes. So the new role does not have access to any applications or module um, for write or update until uh, we add the other roles to it or we add the new role to the appropriate applications and modules but we but the audit and compliance group will have only read only role so let's see how to create that role so for that on the left navigation we will type roles under user administration we have roles so let's click on that now let's click on the new so we will say uh, we are creating custom so we will say you underscore read only so this row provides read only permission to user now we can select uh, application uh, so in which application do we want to see this record uh, so we will keep global we can uh, book, uh, click this if we want to give the uh, elevated privileges to this role but for right now since we are creating read only we will keep as is and let's create a submit so let me copy this uh, submit and we can see the u underscore read only role has been created so now uh, let's click on this in order to open the record so uh, we will assign a role right so we want to give only read only um, access to this role so what we will do is uh, contains role let's click on uh, edit or we can click on new so over here in service now uh, snc uh, underscore read only uh, role has only uh, read only access privileges so let's select uh, let's find that snc underscore read only so select this let's bring this to the right hand side and then save so now the new role that we have created has only read only privileges. So uh, let's update this. Go back again and click again to see if this uh, if we do have the existing role uh, that we just added. So this is how we can create a custom role in ServiceNow. Uh, we will see how to add a user to this role uh, in our next video. So, uh, so we will see you in next video. Bye.